So earlier this year, I did a live stream called Toby Sheet Metal Tips and Tricks 2023. And recently I got a comment from Luigi Pascolini. And he said, when you do a very large radius, is there any way to break that up into multiple segments, which are flat, which use a press break to put in that small radius at all the different little segments? And this was a really interesting question, and I think I have a solution, but let me know down in the comments if you can think of a different solution to this challenge. And of course, if you like this type of video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, go on over to twotalltoby.com and sign up for a free account and leave me some comments down below. Ow. So let's start out by taking a look at the functionality that Luigi was referencing at the 46 minute mark of that live stream. Here we are in SolidWorks. I've got a 2D sketch and I'm gonna turn this into an extrusion with a depth of 200 millimeters. Now this is just a regular solid part. It doesn't have sheet metal features yet. And in the old days, we would start out with a, a feature like this or a part like this with thin walls. And then we would launch the command insert bends. We would pick a face to become fixed in that model and we would indicate a bend radius. So I'm gonna give this a bend radius of six millimeters, hit the green check mark. And what SolidWorks does is anywhere that there was a sharp corner, so there was a sharp corner here, SolidWorks adds a six millimeter bend radius. Sharp corner turns into a six millimeter bend radius. Anywhere that there was a existing curved face, SolidWorks just uses that existing radius. So this radius here is 110 millimeters. I can tell down here in the status bar. And so SolidWorks is gonna just use that 110 millimeters, but it's still gonna give me a model which can be flattened, a sheet metal model which can be flattened. Now this is an, an old school kind of a traditional technique for creating a sheet metal design from a solid design. But the question Luigi had was, when you create a design like this, is there any way to leave yourself with kind of a faceted segment of bent faces? This is probably because in their shop, they've got some kind of a press break that can do six millimeter radii bends. And so instead of using a forming tool to form that all is one large 110 millimeter radius, what Luigi wants is a series of planar faces all connected with small six millimeter bent radii. So I was thinking about this and I think I've got a solution for you. And that solution is to use the lofted sheet metal bends technique. And here's what this might look like. I'm gonna start out here on the front plane and create a sketch. And I'm gonna take this lower segment of this original sketch and just do a convert entities. So I've got kind of the lower region of that original sketch, which was originally offset to six millimeters. I'm gonna hide that original sketch. And now I'm gonna take my front plane and make a copy of that to the depth of the sheet metal feature, 200 millimeters. And then on that new plane, I'm gonna begin a sketch and I'm gonna use the original sketch. I'll just click on it in the tree here and do a convert entities. So now I've got two copies of the same sketch offset at 200 millimeters. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch the lofted bend command on the sheet metal toolbar. And I'm gonna choose to create a lofted bend that goes from this segment to this segment here. And what SolidWorks will do for me here is it will create a lofted bend. Uh, normally that would go from like a rectangular shape down to a curved shape. But in this case, we're just going from one shape to another shape. But with a lofted bend, it can either be formed where everything is kind of blended together or it can be bent where we get those faceted segments that Luigi was asking for in his question. Now, there's a parameter here called facet value where you can increase this, this value to decrease the number of bends that take place, the number of individual facets that take place here in this region. There's some other tools that you can use here in this faceting options, but ultimately when we're done, we end up with a shape like this. So we still have our six millimeter radius here in the corner. We still have our six millimeter radius here in the corner. And in fact, all of these individual bends are also six millimeters. So you can see I can click here. This is six millimeters. I'm looking down here in the status bar to confirm that six millimeters millimeters this is six millimeters here this is six millimeters here but then each of these faces in between is a planar face now there's a cool shortcut you can use in SolidWorks to determine that if you click on a face and the command new new 2d sketch appears then you know that you're on a planar face like this face here is a planar face new 2d sketch 
But if I click on this face here, we see that new 2D sketch does not show up, which is telling us that that is a radius face, or at least a non-planar face. If we click on that face and we look down here in the status bar, then we can tell that that face has a circular radius, and that's because it gives us a radius value down here. So I think that using the lofted bend in this capacity will give Luigi exactly what he's looking for in his question. But let me know down in the comments if you have any other solutions that you think might work. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to come back for some more Too Tall Toby videos.